So one of the very first things that I work with my clients on is we create a joy list. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to encourage everyone watching this and catching the replay, get out a piece of paper, number it one to 50, do it. You can thank me later. <laughs> All right. One, start one through five O. What's that? One through five O. One through five O. One through oh, five O. Okay. Yep. That's a lot of joy. <laughs> yep. Nina, get ready. This is coming to you in an assignment soon. <laughs> The goal is what brings you joy. And part of what we know is that when we get into this routine of being a business owner, yeah, our business does bring us joy. But if you do it all the time and you can't quit thinking about it, you get burnt out, you get overwhelmed, you lose your passion. Like before you know it, you have no life outside of your business. That was my path. That's why I teach this, right? Like that was my path until several years ago. The joy list and really what I teach through this joy body of work and this joyful life and business integration is why, why are you not doing these things? One, I mean, it sounds kind of like a snarky question, but really if you get, get underneath it with the love and, and really trusting and listening to yourself, you've forgotten. You yeah. have forgotten. And you know, my role <laughs> with this new body of work coming out, this book around joy, um, is to be your joy ambassador and to help you connect to the things that you have forgotten or the things that you've wanted to try. I went to trapeze school last summer. Like, I never thought about trapeze school in my life, but I saw an ad on a boat going down the Hudson River and I was like, what the hell is trapeze school? And I went and I loved it. Like, it was so much fun flying in the air. Right. So are you open enough to find things to keep adding to your joy list and then courageous enough to stop freaking working and do your joy? 